Wondering how to store your receipts in QuickBooks Online? Well, watch on. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. And one of the things we get excited about is bookkeeping workflows, you know, helping people save time by making sure they've got their accounting system set up to help them kind of capture all those costs, make sure they're not missing any tax deductions. But of course, they don't really, in a lot of cases, get too excited about doing this kind of stuff. So it's making sure that uh, their systems are set up to kind of do this as automated as possible. Now, I think a lot of app developers would have you believe that you can just snap receipts and voila, all your bookkeeping needs are done. Unfortunately, it really isn't that simple at the moment. There is some amazing automation you can do, um, especially as they develop this machine learning idea that uh, the programs start to know what receipts are for and things like this. But actually, ultimately, you still need a human being somewhere in the process. So QuickBooks Online, one of the cool things you can do in there is to actually snap a receipt inside your phone app or do it on your desktop and then kind of bookkeep inside the program and it's all attached. So before I get into the details of how to do this, if you like these type of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button below so you get notified whenever we release another one just like it. So yeah, in QuickBooks Online, what you have got is the ability, they've got a really good app. So one of the good features is the app's quite cool. Um, so if you've got it on your phone, you can go straight to the, so let's say you just got a loose receipt, I'm gonna use a co-op receipt in the example here. You just go to your app, and there's a button that says uh, upload receipt. So you click on that and you literally sort of like hover over it and a little green box comes in and it, it sort of zooms in on the receipt. And when it's happy that it's got it in the right place, it then will automatically kind of capture the receipt, take a photo of it basically. And then it asks you to check, does this look okay? And you click submit and it's up into the cloud and it will arrive in your QuickBooks in a few seconds. Now there's another, another few ways of doing that and I'll show you that in a minute. If you've got it on your desktop, you can kind of email it in or you could also drag it in, literally drag drag it and drop it into the program in several different places. So I'm just gonna show you a couple that work well. Uh, generally, like all these programs, there's tons of different ways of doing things. This is just a couple of key sort of simple ways of doing it. So let's get into it. So when you log into QuickBooks Online, you might see, I think there's various screens you could end up on, but in this demo company here, we've just got the kind of the dashboard that shows what's kind of going on in uh, QuickBooks itself. So then all you've got to do, if from when you've done that app, and you've snapped from the app, you just go up here to uh, banking and then receipts. And then what happens is you can see you could, if you've got them on your desktop or your computer somewhere, you can actually drag them into here. You can also set up an email address so you can just email them in and they'll all end up in here. So you can see that co-op receipt that we snapped in the app. If we click into here now, it allows us then to go in and put in the details of exactly what it is. And you can choose, you can either have like a receipt and it sets up this expense style thing but quite often you're going to want to put it on as a bill um, and then you can put you know who it's to the co-op uh, the date and you can set up the amounts um, you know what tax rate it was in here so if you're a VAT registered you'd want to do this and how much in here and then if you want to put some options in there or something like that you can and then you can choose this is where you choose what it is so you'd say okay this is uh, subsistence in this case or uh, what have we got set up in the demo company uh, travel um, subsistence there it is so we went out um, or it could be our canteen or whatever else I mean this is purely an example so don't quote me on it and then uh, you can save and that is it that's just one way to do it um, the other way uh, so you might think well how's that saving me any time because realistically uh, I'm having to still go in here and say what it is now if it turns out that that transaction where it's quite cool is if it turns out that transaction is actually in one of your bank feeds so you've got your bank connected it will highlight and say you know is this this thing and it, it's just a nice way of doing it if you've used any other receipt type apps so there's something called what used to be called receipt bank or dext and there's another one called auto entry and they work in the same way you upload it to the cloud you go into a portal and you know you kind of do your bookkeeping in that portal quickbooks this is quickbooks version of that so you kind of do your uh, bookkeeping in this little section and then you can match it to the bank or if you you know use a receipt thing here you can actually choose which bank account it came out of and it will create the transaction for you so it's not really double entering it it's just a good way to manage that kind of workflow so snap it in here fill it out in here and then it's in your system and it's all categorized in the right place the other way you could do it um, there's a there's a part called attachments so there's a a little cog up the top um, and you can manage some attachments. Personally, I don't really like it. The other way you could do it is there's a big button at the top. You probably can't see it on the screen here, but you, it says new in the top left and you can do a new bill. And if you were doing this more manually, it's exactly the same thing. You could fill out all the boxes and just down here, you can drag and drop into this section here. And what you find is when you've actually keyed that bill in, if you were to load it up, it would look exactly like this. If you'd done from that other screen, if you'd gone in and put all your details in from 
this screen here, what would end up happening is it would actually create this. If you've selected Bill here, then when you do that, it will save it and you'll see the little attachments down here so you can look at it whenever you want. So there you go. There's just a couple of quick ways to get a receipt into QuickBooks and get yourself all book kept.